wait, you're just gonna color our Got the mail. Hi guys, so um I'm 20. <laughs> I'm recording this 12 hours before I actually turn 20, but you know details. Anyway, in 20 years of living, I've come to understand that you never really grow up. <laughs> You're kind of always a child until you decide not to be Even though I'm still a child, like I'm a literal child I'm a baby I'd say I've learned quite a lot these uh, 20 years of life on earth So I thought I'd share with you 20 things I've learned in 20 years The first thing is that names literally mean nothing Yes, of course, they do mean something, they're a part of our identity but the name you were given at birth doesn't need to be your name and it doesn't have to have a special meaning for you you can change your mind about your name you can change your name you can change it again you can whip the order around you can do whatever you want with your name because at the end of the day as long as you're comfortable with your name who the fuck cares if other people think it's weird that you change your name just Birth names, they mean nothing if you don't want them to. Everyone loves differently. That's a thing that was very hard for me to learn because you think that your way of expression, affection, emotion and love will be universal. That people will understand what you're doing and that people will do the same thing for you. But it's really not that way at all. <laughs> Everyone expresses love, emotion, Perfection differently and sometimes those ways don't match they clash with each other and you end up with a whole heap of misunderstandings and miscommunication that's really hard to accept sometimes but really just knowing from the get-go that not everyone will express things the same way you do not everyone will feel things the same way you do makes it a bit easier at least it was for me this one, this one is very important to me. Hair grows out. Who the fuck cares if you cut your hair off? If you color it a really, really weird color, then change your mind, then chop it off, then color it again, and then you bleach it until it falls out, but it grows out again. Hair will always grow out again. So who cares what you're doing with it? <laughs> it's like the one thing on our bodies, except for nails that grows out again so take that chance and just do whatever you want with it just just do it so on the topic of bodies changing there's also wounds i've learned that wounds always heal and scars always fade but sometimes that really takes time it can be very stressful and very frustrating to feel like you're not getting anywhere and it's not getting any better but Really, it's a slow process and it's not a straight line. I like to use the metaphor that you're not climbing Mount Everest, you're running a marathon. If you're climbing a mountain, when you lose your grip, you fall back down and you have to start over again. But when you run a marathon and you trip, you don't lose your progress. It just means you're tired, maybe need to take a break, drink some water, cool down and then start again. I don't know if this metaphor makes sense, but what I'm trying to say is it takes time and there will be setbacks there will be times when it feels like everything is just not going your way and like you're back on square zero again but you're really not just healing takes time it's a process like everything else in life but you'll get there kind of the same as your birth name family is up to you if you choose to value your birth family as your closest family then of course that is right but also know that you can choose your own family and you can expand your family your family is what you feel is your family nothing else no one no one can say anything different because honestly blood is thick in the water i know a lot of people think that saying means that blood like family is stronger than water that would be like friends but it's actually the other way around it's blood of the covenant is stronger than water of the womb um, so now you know not everyone will like you 
just sometimes people just don't like you fundamentally do not like you because of who you are and that's because of who they are and you can't change who they are so you're just gonna have to accept that they don't like you because of who you are that's not including like gender identity and like, if they're being racist and don't like you because of that I'm speaking strictly of personality and behavior here even if you're being the best version of yourself even if you're the most lovable person in the entire world, there will still be people that don't like you. And that's just the way it is. The faster you accept that, the easier it'll be to just let go. Yes. Even though something fits in your life, that doesn't mean it should be in your life. You know like in a puzzle where a piece fits, but it's clearly not the right fit for that part. The structures fit, but it's not right. Just because you fit in somewhere, or someone fits with you, or something you fit in somewhere, it doesn't mean that's where you're supposed to be. So just keep that, I don't want to make like people paranoid or something, but just keep that in mind, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Children's stuff is really good. Like, you know, childish foods. Just like drinking apple juice at McDonald's. It's really good. And just making pancakes for yourself for lunch is really good. Just because something is coded as childish doesn't mean it's not good and doesn't mean you can't do it. Sleep with your teddy bear. Walk around with a snug little blanket around you. Or watch cartoons that are obviously made for children but they're hilarious so who cares? You know, just Age doesn't matter when it comes to that, at least. Jealousy is an ugly emotion. It's not romantic, it's not funny, it's not... I don't even know what, it's just an ugly emotion. Envy is natural, but it shouldn't be indulged. Convert envy into motivation and make the thing you're envious of a goal. Otherwise, you're just wasting energy and time on being envious and not doing anything. That won't help you. Won't help anyone. So, uh, make that shit into motivation. I'm having a really hard time with that. But, you know, I'm trying. Kinda works. It is not worth judging people. If someone's doing something, and maybe they're not very good at it, but they're doing it because they're having fun, and they like doing it, and they like getting better at it, then why the hell would you judge them for being bad at it? The only thing you'll do is disencourage them from growing, from learning, and from having fun. Like, what the fuck? Don't be a douchebag. If someone has eyebrows that don't agree with you, that's your problem, not theirs. And if someone likes to dress in a way that makes you feel a little skittish, maybe a tiny bit uncomfortable, or just it's not very easy on the eyes, don't look at them. Really, it's that easy. If they're not doing anything to hurt you, or hurt themselves, or hurt anyone else, why why are you spending energy on them by judging them? It's really not worth it. You're just gonna collect a lot of bad karma. You're gonna end up as a snail that someone steps on like five seconds after you're born. It's not worth it. Just don't judge people. You can, for as long as you breathe, change and grow. People love to say that people can't change and stuff like that. Sometimes it's very hard to change and sometimes it can feel impossible, but you can always change as long as you want to. That being said, you can't change another person for them. That is how you end up in an abusive relationship. You can always grow and you can always change. You can change your mind about things and you can change yourself and you can grow in a new direction. You can grow in five different directions at once. That might be a little hard, but you know, you can try. It's never too late to change. And it's never too late to learn and grow. People just get stubborn with age. So try not to be stubborn. Happiness can be found in the strangest of places. And don't disregard those things that make you happy. I, for example, feel a tremendous joy when I find abandoned screws on the pavement and that's a part of my everyday joy. <laughs> 
finding small scraps of metal on the street. Strange things will make you happy throughout your life. Don't disregard those things unless maybe they're hurting someone because then it's sadism and that is largely frowned upon. Now, the most important thing that I've learned in my 20 years of life is that life sucks. It will suck for everyone at some point. Everyone who says differently is lying because it's impossible to go through your life without it tremendously sucking at one point or several points or maybe very very many points it will suck but life will always be worth living because as I said you can always change you can always grow your life is forever changing and evolving into something new that only you can decide what it's gonna be. You can't decide what's gonna happen to you in every single way, but you can decide how you're going to react to it and what you're gonna make of it. When life gives you lemons, are you gonna make lemonade, lemon pie, marmalade, or maybe chop them up and squeeze them into life's eyes? So yeah, I hope I didn't miss anything because that will be embarrassing if I like end up with 19 things. Anywho, those were the 20 things that I learned during 20 years of life. I doubt many of you will have learned any new things because I'm a very slow learner and the things I've learned people probably learned at a very young age. <laughs> but, you know, it's fun talking to a camera. <laughs> oh man. See you next time. Bye.